What's up everyone? Welcome to an extremely poorly lit intro. My name is Joel. This is my channel, Lowered Expectations. I also have a second channel called the Joel Arsenault YouTube channel. Actually, it's just Joel Arsenault. And on that channel, I do a little bit more refined videos, a little bit more editing. And most of that stuff is jet ski content. This channel, Lowered Expectations, is exactly that. For people with lowered expectations or where you have to lower your expectations because this is for extras, outtakes, random nonsense, and stuff that is not related to jet skis. And this video is a perfect example of that. I'm building my hydraulic press. I ordered a 40 ton air over hydraulic press and I'm going to be assembling it. It's not gonna be in great detail. This isn't the how to. So uh, yeah, just a little bit of uh, behind the scenes or extra footage for those who follow my other channel. I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on my knee situation. Most of you will know I crashed my jet ski. It was actually a week ago today, almost exactly a week ago, within a couple of hours. <laughs> uh, I hurt my knee, I crashed and caught my leg or my knee on the bottom when I fell off and so, Yesterday, which was Tuesday, I was pretty much sure that my knee wasn't making any more of a recovery, so I booked an appointment to see a doctor. And I haven't had very much, I haven't had very much luck with the uh, Canadian healthcare system. We do have free healthcare, and I'm, yeah, I don't want to moan and complain too much, but I've always been overlooked or yeah, at least felt overlooked in the healthcare system. But this has been a pretty good experience up to now and I hope that it continues going on this way. Uh, yesterday, I booked an appointment for one o'clock today. I went into my appointment to see a doctor at one o'clock today and the guy looked at my knee, the doctor looked at my knee and uh, referred me to a clinic where I could get x-rays and uh, ultrasound on my knee. And it just turned out that they had an opening come available while I was talking to the receptionist. She had originally told me that it was going to be November 7th. It is currently October 26th. And so, yeah, she was talking to me on the phone and she was like, oh, an appointment just opened up. If you're willing to drive to this location, we can get you in for 3.30. And uh, yeah, so I went got an ultrasound and x-rays on my knee. And now I have a follow-up appointment for 3.30 tomorrow. So within less than 48 hours, I was able to book an appointment to see the doctor, go get an ultrasound and x-ray, and then I will have my follow-up. So that is a long story. That is the condition of my knee. I've also booked uh, or started to book an appointment with a sports specialist. That's hard to say. Uh, just because I'm a fairly active person and I don't want to be having my knee dislocate or having issues with it in the future. So it's kind of a backup plan, but uh, probably what's going to happen is I'm going to go back to my doctor tomorrow and then let him know that I uh, booked something with a specialist and uh, yeah, hopefully get this worked out because uh, I ride BMX and downhill mountain bike and unicycle and I snowboard a little bit. I ride jet skis and I do a lot of falling. I need a good knee so hopefully you can get that sorted out. Anyway that's a long enough intro. Let's get into the video. Purolator is rolling up with my delivery. Showing up just a little bit late. There it is. 40 ton hydraulic press. Now I gotta figure out how to get 500 pounds of press <laughs> into here and figure out where I'm gonna put it. Probably in that area. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna use a chain fall, but I think I might just try and leverage. There you have it, that's how you move a uh, over 500 pound object with one person.
Hero 10 has this issue where you push the button and it very frequently does not start recording on the first push, which has made me miss several clips. I missed, missed a bunch of really good stuff at the Jet Ski Brothers because of it. Just almost did it again. I've noticed it doing it more frequently now. I don't know if it's gotten worse. It's now time to put some legs on. I'll check the diagram to see how they're supposed to go. Angled parts go on the top. I'm gonna wait until this is standing to actually tighten this stuff up because there's a lot of play in it and I can kind of use that as a leveling feature. All right, stand clear. Do not get yourself between 500 pounds and the floor. I made that mistake once before and couldn't walk for a year because of it. Now I can move all this garbage outside, make some space. I bet you guys didn't think I knew what a broom was. All right, YouTuber tip number one, make sure to get your tools ready before you start filming. Well, make sure to have a whole handful of bolts, even though you're only using one, just so that you drop everything everywhere. So what the heck is going on here? These holes don't line up perfectly. Excuse the lighting, I'm just trying to show you guys that that hole is off to one side, so it doesn't really line up. I don't really feel like removing the pump again and drilling that, so I'm going to do my best to make this work. Ah, that's hot. Hot metal chips on my arm. Fortunately, fortunately none in my eyes yet. I think the hole's a bit too low. No, it's gonna maybe work. Okay, folks. Wow. Not impressed with that at all. Not even a little bit. I saw somebody complaining in a video about the direction that you crank being weird for uh, how you actually lift the table. If you want to change that, you just pull the cable all the way out and uh, continue cranking and it'll wind up the other way. Connect the hydraulic hose, all one word. Wow, that's impressive. Connect the hydraulic hose between the pump, <laughs> between the pump and the ram inlet. So the long hose is going to go from the bottom of the pump here, that fitting, up to fitting up there. And then there's another fitting that goes from there to the hydraulic ram itself.
Hmm. I would have expected a lot more air purging issues. I don't know folks, maybe it doesn't need to be bled. Okay, now I need to tighten up all the bolts in the bottom. Uh, check all the other bolts that I installed, all the bolts period, because I don't trust the people who assembled it. And then uh, find a place to put it. Pressing apart this 1100 crank. The weld was already cracked. It's a welded crank and I was quite concerned about whether or not I was gonna be able to push it apart. I took the die grinder to the weld a little bit and it took left, less than uh, five tons to start coming apart. So I'm gonna try to make sure that the crank doesn't fall now. It is quite heavy. So I'm gonna try to push it out here. It's moving quite easily. Oh, <laughs> I should uh, better pay attention. My tool needs to be longer. So. Successful, I guess. See if there's any damage to this web from pushing it out welded. It looks fine. Okay, I don't know what that was. Around five tons. Scared the crap out of me. Welcome to the extremely poorly lit outro of this video. I will be rebuilding some cranks, but that's not going to be in this video. This video is just about the press itself. Uh, I'm really happy with the overall quality of this. As you guys saw, there were some fitment issues with uh, the hydraulic cylinder or the hydraulic pump, whatever you call it. It didn't line up very well, but overall, pretty good. I haven't used it that much, but I will be using it. I've got six crankshafts to rebuild. Let's see if I can make this video longer and figure out all of them. So I've got the 1100 mini jet bow crank. I've got the uh, whew, 750 crank out of my XISS. I've got two 900 cranks. 900 triples. I've got the crash crank and I've got the sea rat crank. Six. I didn't think I was going to remember them all. Anyway, so yeah, there will definitely be crankshaft rebuild videos in my future, in your future. But uh, yeah, those will be on my other channel or at least one of those, probably the crash crank will be on my Joel Arsenal YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, 
If you guys want to support me on Patreon, feel free to do so. There is a link below in the description. If you guys want to see my other channel, if you watch this channel, I assume you already watched that one, but just in case not, there is a link in the description below on this video. And uh, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Here's to better knees and better days. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Take care.